I have a Kennesaw State University student used a traumatic incident as a catalyst to living a life that will help others. He was in a car crash that paralyzed him when he was a teenager. And as Fox 5's Denise Dillon tells us now, that accident's what prompted him to get involved in a specific form of research. Haru Crooks always excelled. He graduated from high school at 16, but it was a tragic accident that defined his goal in life. My ultimate goal would be to cure paralysis and to cure, to find the reset switch in the nervous system for all neurological diseases. 23-year-old Haru Crooks is studying biology at Kennesaw State University. It's a path that started for him when he was 16 after a car crash on I-75. Eight surgeries in approximately three days. I'm going, they don't, my, my vitals are not even stable. They don't know if I'll survive at the time. He had numerous broken bones, including his spine, which left him paralyzed and in a wheelchair. I got injured in T12 in my spine, which kind to cause my paralysis, the bone broke into my spinal cord and ripped it. He underwent months of therapy at Shepherd Center. He then traveled outside the country to Panama and India where he received stem cell therapy. Generally, the nerve cells cannot be healed or replaced in both brain and your spinal cord, but a mesenchymal stem cell can go and become the cell that is around. Haru says he saw improvement and says he was even able to stand with only leg braces. Since that day, I felt that the spinal cord and nerve cells can regenerate. They can grow, they can fix themselves. There's somewhere in the cell, there's a program, there's information for the cell to be restored. He knew then that he wanted to dedicate his life to research and finding answers. I really went to be a part and help create a cure treatment for spinal cord injury and for all, uh, all neurological injuries from stroke, from cerebral palsy, ALS, all of them. Peru will graduate from KSU in two years. Then it's on to getting his master's, his doctorate, and further research into helping others. At Kennesaw State University, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News.